center, this is the co-main event of the evening. This bout is scheduled for five two-minute rounds. It is a full rules Muay Thai bout, and it is for the vacant TCB featherweight title. Starting out, fighting out of the right corner, standing five foot six and weighing in at 125 pounds, fighting out of CP MMA, it's Sergio Andrade! And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, standing five foot eight and weighing in at 125 pounds, fighting out of shift combat sports, it's Josh Otero! It is a full rules Muay Thai bout, and your referee is Chris Aboy. Chris Aboy checks on all the officials. Make sure Chris Fuller is out of the ring and on his way to the desk as we get ready for our first title fight of the evening. Fighters touch gloves, we're off. This is an action here, please. Yeah, absolutely. I like watching the, the smaller guys, man. They, they fly around the ring. Well, I'll tell you what, both of these guys don't seem like 125 pounders. Specifically, Josh is very big for a 125. -er. Although Sergio landed a nice little right hand there on the inside. Switch there, putting, putting his back the rope. Sergio's got some really good control there on the inside. Josh made the adjustment. clinching here for both guys. Interesting first round, tough to call. Yeah, and I, you might have a little bit more experience with them than I do. This is my first fight, I think, for both of them. But, yeah, you know, as always, there's, there's adjustments to be made. Ooh, good jabs from Josh. And we have some contrasting styles, right? Adrian is a little bit more loose, relaxed. Josh is very tight and technical. And it's just a different style, but it kind of yields different results, right? Josh is very strong, and they end up here, and he's yanking and tugging, whereas Adrian's kind of just like circling and trying to navigate the water, so to speak. Yeah, it, it really looks like uh, Josh is trying to, trying to bully him a little bit. It does. It doesn't, now, I'm not necessarily saying that he's able to, because I think Adrian's been really good at avoiding these hard shots, but I'll also tell you that there's moments where Josh is able to drive right past him. Big elbow on the way in. 
too. Well, the only issue is that Josh is doing such a good job of hitting that push kick as he goes to do it. He's very active with that front foot he's every time. He looks like Josh is getting better of it while they're in the clinch. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Jab, head kick combination for Josh. Ooh, good leg kick from Sergio. Both. And a very good, and there we go. There's a good response from Josh. And now we're starting, you know, when, when you find success and then your opponent immediately does the same thing and finds that same level of success, it does take a little bit of weight from him. I can tell you that's what that's what his corner was telling him to work for, is that lead leg. You can tell Josh is sticking it out there a little bit. Side leg kick there, and, and the, the smoothness to that was as Josh was circling away and getting Sergio to follow him, he then fired that off. And he turned his hips, got a lot of power in yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, very nice. And there it is again. And you see, he keeps circling that right side, he's getting Sergio to follow him, and then immediately firing that right kick. Well, I think he's starting to go to the bank that he's been depositing at. Yeah, right, right. He's done such a good job of setting up his stance, working his jabs, just doing all these different things that are creating opportunities for him. And now he's really able to pay them off. You see, he's not throwing any naked leg kicks. Everything he's doing before he throws that leg kick is significant. Jabs, elbows, he goes up top. Now we don't know what's happening. Josh's going to throw a leg kick right here. There, and that's just kind of how you're able to keep that, that rhythm going. Again, punches. Now he want, he's going to want to go high. Push kick, now a big punch there. That elbow just missed. That is is pretty high level Muay Thai there. Yeah, so maybe it wasn't. Yeah. 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 No, that's a good way to put it. Actually. Josh, Josh took advantage of it. French ready. Blue you ready? Interesting to see what adjustments Sergio makes coming out here. Look, he's got he's got to let his hands go. Right. So what's happening here is his kicks. Kind of, we, we saw this earlier in the night. He's throwing kicks like jabs to close the distance, but. When he throws the kicks like jabs, meaning they're just kind of throwaways, he's willing to set something up. He's forced to walk into a really hard shot, right? Because that's what that's what's being met. And right there, we're seeing it. He's, uh, excuse me, Josh is getting Sergio to have him follow him so that he's then able to get him to walk into these hard shots. And we just need more of it. I think I think his path to victory here is just volume on the inside. But when he's pushing away and he's defending, he's not able to attack. And that's that's part of the problem. Yeah, he, is, he is just walking in and getting picked apart while he's trying to do it. But, yeah. So right there, that was a good example. He goes to get the body kick, doesn't quite land it, but then receives a heavy leg kick in return. But now I like what he's doing here. He kind of punched his way into the inside. That, that's, that's, what I was, that's the point I was getting at. He's he, when he's walking forward, he's just eating shots. If he punches his way in or, or can, you know, go in with a little more sense of urgency, he might, he might see better results. But just trying to walk into a guy's kick or to a guy's jab is not going to be effective. Yeah. That one stung. That one stung. That outside leg kick right there. Sergio's left leg stuck. Yeah, heard him. Look, you can actually see there's a hematoma growing right now. And, you know, I'll tell you, I think um, there's a set, slight hesitation again, same spot. But you know what? And, and Chris Boy is looking at him real close. He sees some issue here. It fucked him up there for a minute, though. Well, it's, we're getting, see, so you can actually see the growth. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, you, you get that well. Uh, it's that fight or flight instinct, right? And you know, you, you can switch stances, you can do a couple things, but that's what you gotta worry about, right? You're so concerned about the leg kick that it starts to come up top. And, and really, really great work here from Josh. He's just circling around so, so well. They're gonna put ice directly on that leg here, I think. <laughs> well, hey, listen, it's uh, at this point in my nose, which 
are important for for rules, but for the amateur experience, is not going to be a major takeaway. Will go a long way in preventing you know, catastrophic injury to both themselves and, and the bank account. And this is a do or die round, I believe, for Sergio. He's got to really make something happen here. And, and for Josh, he, yeah, he just wants to keep chopping that leg because he sees it now. He sees the well. He sees the damage. He knows it's hurting. And Sergio is doing such a good job of hiding it. But it's really only a matter of time before that either big head kick lands or Sergio succumbs to his constant leg kicks. But Josh is doing a good job of switching levels, too. He knows he's got that, that outside leg right there hurt, but he's going up top because he knows he's got to drop those hands, right? Absolutely. Well, and it goes both ways, right? Earlier in the fight, we were talking about, oh, you're setting up the leg. The leg kick is setting up the head kick. Well, now, with that the leg kick, that damage, anything he does can set up the leg kick. The head kick is now setting up the leg kick. The jab cross is setting up the leg kick. And that is the difference, I think, with the damage accumulation in these five-round fights. All of a sudden, things that you were using as setups can now become fight finishing techniques. Oh, right there. Thud. Just a thud on that outside leg. And, and Sergio's doing such a good job of staying tough here, but you just, you gotta start throwing. You don't wanna block it. You gotta start just firing away. It's just so hard to, to, you know, continue to fight with no real front leg. He's fighting, though. He's a tough dude. I mean, there is an unbelievable amount of fighting. Right there. So, so he's lifting the knee well, but you have to actually turn that knee out a little bit if you're going to hang it out there. You want to angle it out so you go shin to shin, and you can try to discourage some of those leg kicks. Right here, Josh is looking to go high. He's looking, he's just looking at all of his options. What's gonna open up that leg kick? And now he's like, all right, I see it, I wanna go back low. One thing that I don't see as much in Muay Thai as I do in MMA is you don't see fighters switch as often, switch stance as often. Do you have a, a reason for that? Is there a technique or, or something that I'm missing? Yeah, you know what? Salisbury Center, after five rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the bout 50 to 45. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. And new TCB featherweight champion out of the blue corner is Josh Otero.